Hello everyone and happy weekend. This week's Makeup of Monday favourites is probably going to be quite short and I don't really have any lessons prepared. I think across the board I'm just going to repeat myself. Watch your colours, especially your background colours. Again I saw too many dark backgrounds that made everything on top of them very illegible. So no matter what colours you choose, please make sure you can actually see the data and the text etc. Um, I'm very used to looking at data visualizations. I know how to read across the page, how to interact. If I struggle, then most other people will probably struggle as well. So please make sure that you don't sacrifice understanding for the sake of some fancy design. I would much rather a gray bar chart on a white background that's super easy to understand. That will get my thumbs up every time over some very intricate, complicated and fancy design that looks good but tells me nothing. And that's just because I think most of the community, while you're all playing Makeup Monday in your spare time, or most of you, I would hazard a guess that probably 90% of people at least use Tableau and other tools, data visualization, data analysis in their day job. And that's why you're here. And I would rather teach you what you can use from nine to five, Monday to Friday, than something that's gonna be more of a hobby that isn't gonna help many other people understand what you're trying to get across. So that's probably why my feedback always goes into the direction of best practices and I hope you'll understand. So let's head over to the favorites for this week. The first viz in my list, and I have tried to make it nice and small so it fits, is from Laura Elliott and it's called The Rise of Renewable Energy in EU27 Countries. And what I love here is that she has combined a visual that actually shows me the rise. So we see the green portions of the bar going up and then also has introduced a Sankey chart. And I'm usually not a fan of Sankey charts, but I love that she uses it just to show what actually makes up these renewable sources of energy. And it's very simple. It's easy to understand. So we've got bioenergy, hydro, other solar and wind. And I think it's just you know a clever way to fill the space under the text making it visual and also kind of looking, making it kind of future focused because it is looking into the future and it shows us well, renewables are the future. So I like those visual um, yeah, suggestions there. One thing I would change is I cannot read the text that's sideways. I cannot read the, the years easily, so I would rotate them, uh, but that's kind of a minor thing. I think the overall layout is very clean. Uh, it just needs to be a bit smaller so it actually fits on the screen. So well done, Laura. And then we have um, Azaz Ahmed and his viz. And what I really like here, let me make this a bit larger actually, is so we have renewables overtake fossil fuels in the EU. And you can see that by looking at the latest uh, value for fossil fuels, which is 37% compared to 38.2% for renewables. So that's kind of the point of the story. And I really like how you see that the bad stuff, the darker stuff is trending down. Nuclear, while clean, also probably not, not one of our favorites, also trending down, but then renewables on the rise. And I love the use of uh, blue. I think blue or green works really well because we're mostly talking about, um, well, green as a concept, but also, you know, water, um, energy, wind energy, and things that are environmentally friendly. I love the annotation and just the formatting overall. Uh, I think the font really works in all caps. Um, sometimes all caps can be a bit harder to read, but in this case I think it works because the font is really clean and sharp. So well done, Azaz. And then we have Eduardo, and his vis was very colourful first. He had very, three very strong colours in this vis, and we gave him some feedback during this review, and he applied that, and I think it works so much better now because we have these neat stacked bar charts, but the focus is renewables. He's moved them all to the left, so that's the first thing we see we see how there's that increase over time um, and with it a decrease in fossil fuels and nuclear. So I think again, a very simple depiction and uh, I see that he's taken on board my suggestion to have the label for the colors just kind of in the first bar so that people know from there what it means. And then number four, we have Chimdi and he has uh, created a very cool viz. Um, I'm not going to even bother with, with full screen. It's quite a large one because it's a long format. 
and he's used yellow as the focus color in his viz and I really like that he's changed the fossil fuels to be like from a I think it was a very dark color to now being white um, and nuclear energy being gray I mean you could swap that around but basically it lets the renewable sources be the focus of the viz and the one thing it's probably very hard to change is getting these lines out of the area charts um, but yeah it's it's really neat um, you get an overall impression of what's going on um, I think at first I wasn't sure about the different axes but it is helpful to show kind of the progress rather than the you know specific numbers because what we want to know is are the countries progressing towards renewables and we can't see that if their area charts are so small so he's changed the axes but then he's labeled them clearly so that we know what kind of magnitude um, are we dealing with so i think that's really neat and well done chimdi so that's my favorites for this week i hope you all had fun using the data set and for next week we're going to have another viz5 challenge so stay tuned for that data set to come out tomorrow on sunday sometime around midday uk time probably and on Wednesday at 5 p.m. UK time, we're going to have this review. Seth Cochran, the CEO of Opfestula, is joining me for that one. And yeah, we look forward to seeing all your visits and having you be part of next week's challenge. So take care, enjoy your weekend, stay safe, and bye.